Hello everyone, I'm James and for this instalment we are looking at eight different titles that all contain hidden secret games that can be unearthed and discovered and played as much as you like. We will also be joined by the voice of Wood Hawker who makes a cameo from the channel Beat Em Ups. Towards the latter part of 1994, EA Sports released NBA Live 95, which would become the first in a line of NBA Live titles, bringing with it many new elements, including an odd but perhaps unsurprising bonus. As by heading into an exhibition and creating a new player profile, enter the following R E F L O G, Reeflog. Not sure what one of these is, but if you reverse it, you have yourself the word golfer. Where upon hitting done, you are whisked off to a practice mode in a golf game, and you can swing away as much as you desire. It's not entirely clear which game this is, but it could very well be a teaser towards PGA Tour Golf 3 that came out the very same year. It is stated that by fighting 250 battles in a row in a two-player mode during Mortal Kombat 2 for the Sega Genesis, that the game would allow both players to indulge in an offering of Pong. This, however, is simply not true. So instead, take to the Mortal Kombat Trilogy title upon the Nintendo 64, opt for a two-player mode, and together fight for just 50 consecutive matches where the game will then reveal a secret message reading, you have reached the outer limits of the tournament. Now, you both must face a challenge from your past, which will then initiate a game of Pong, allowing both players to battle it out, where the first player to reach seven points will win. Once more, we are making a beeline for Goat Simulator for a second time in a month. This awesome yet completely bonkers title will have you blowing stuff up, flying through the air, bouncing on trampolines and causing people to glitch all over the place. Anyway, when you start the game in Goatville, head directly north of your starting position, wander past the protesters and venture up onto the rocks and then venture into the house on the right and home to Coffee Stain Studios. After smashing everything to bits, head upstairs to where a TV is positioned that will turn on as you approach it, and now you can take to a game of Flappy Goats by tapping R on the keyboard. You can now also enjoy watching this woman throwing herself about the place for no apparent reason. Probably one of the best mini games coming up and one you wouldn't typically expect to see in a fighting game, especially one that is home to dinosaurs and beasts, all of whom have supernatural abilities. So, on the Genesis version of Primal Rage, head to the main menu and enter the following D-pad combination. Left, up, right, right, up, left, right, right, left, left, up. This will reveal a secret extra options tab, where if you scroll all the way down and highlight the selection of play bowling game, then hit done and start. The game will load to bring you two Armadons on the same screen, which will suddenly walk off to the right hand side, 10 worshippers will walk in from the left and form a bowling triangle, where you and a mate can now battle it out for two frames of bowling. But that's not all, as Primal Rage is also home to an awesome game of volleyball. Next let's dive into the Trials series and to the fifth title to grace the catalogue Trials Fusion that came out in the early part of 2014. A game filled to the brim with easter eggs but when you visit the urban sprawl event take to the park and ride track where roughly about halfway through the challenge you can take to a large ramp that sends you hurtling into a tennis arena. When you reach the clay court surface, slow down to a gentle pace and then you'll be able to play a nice game of tennis. Your opponent though is none other than a penguin.
back in the early 90s, when Mario Paint came out for the Super Nintendo, there was a minigame tucked inside named Nat Attack, also known as Coffee Break, which had you swatting flying insects using the game's mouse. Some 23 years later, and out pops Super Mario Maker for the Wii U, which sees us developing our very own Mario levels and allowing others to play them. But while that's happening, we can also do and play something else as by taking out a muncher from your ever-growing inventory of items and shaking it across the screen during editing mode, it will cause three tiny flies to appear on the screen. Quickly swap these by using the gamepad and you'll be whisked off to play Nat Attack once again. One of the most complex secrets I have ever come across is found in Sega AM2 Shemu 2 which I have previously covered in an in-depth tutorial but for easter egg hunters out there this is not one to be missed as after carrying out a series of tasks which will take several hours to complete including visiting the Golden Quarter, speaking to Izume in the Tomato Convenience Store, having a chat with Eileen in Pigeon Park and collecting a bronze coin from a tiny courtyard and then by heading to the video game arcade where you can play Outrun and Space Harrier, you'll then be able to battle both Izumi and Eileen upstairs. It is when you have beaten both of them and visited Izume again in the Tomato Convenience Store that she will take you to a secret location of where you can now gamble on the duck races. However, the secret didn't end there as by visiting the temple, you can gather your very own duck to control at the races by gathering a series of leaves and a feather which will fall out of a tree in the temple's courtyard. To conclude our gathering of gaming easter eggs, we're heading to Halo Reach, where on the mission known as Sword Base, you and a friend need to take to the level together. After dealing with numerous enemies and taking out several wraiths, head in the Warthog in an easterly direction to activate the Comma Ray. Afterwards, one player should head down to the water's edge and clamber up the rocks, where they will be able to find an invisible switch that reads, Hold X to open door. When you have found that, the second player should hop back in the Warthog towards the next objective of activating the anti-air gun. When they reach this area, drive through the two bodies of water, and when you meet the road again, hop out and climb the nearby rocks to where a second switch is hidden. Now, and only now, by pressing X at the same time, you will activate an easter egg, known as Reach Racer, based on the popular game of Ridge Racer. Now, you and your mate can race each other around a laid course in different vehicles. Well I would just like to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to Wood. So thanks Wood for being a part of this episode and it's been a privilege working with you and also to say please head on over to his channel Beat Em Ups and subscribe. It's home to many game related series including the great Game Quest.